Hi guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will talk about Prim's algorithm. So, Prim's algorithm helps us find the minimum spanning tree given a weighted undirected graph. So, first of all, let's understand what's a spanning tree. So, a spanning tree uh, for a weighted undirected graph is a subgraph that connects all the vertices together using the minimum number of edges required. So, for example, we have, uh, uh, let's say we have a graph with B vertices. So, we need to have B minus 1 vertices that connect the graph together. And the graph should be connected in such a way so that there is no cycle. So for example, for this graph, we have four vertices. So we need to have three edges that connects all these four vertices together without having any cycle. So here is one example. Uh, we have B, A, A, C and C, D connected. And here is another. We have A, B, A, C and A, D connected. So uh, similarly, you can draw other spanning trees also. And uh, so we can have many spanning trees uh, for this given graph. And uh, each of those spanning trees is going to have a cost. So we calculate the cost of a spanning tree by adding up the cost, the weights of the edges of that spanning tree. So for example, this spanning tree has uh, a total cost of 50 plus 30 plus 10 equals 90. And this one has the cost 10 plus 30 plus 15, that's 45. So similarly, we can uh, draw other spanning trees also and see what is the uh, cost of each of those spanning trees and then uh, pick the minimum spanning tree. However, uh, this method uh, in the worst case has a time complexity that's worse than exponential and uh, Prince algorithm does actually better than that. So let's let's first see how Prince algorithm works. So Prince algorithm uh, maintains an MST set where it keeps track of the vertices that are included in our uh, minimum spanning tree. And at every step of this algorithm, uh, it uh, picks the minimum cost edge that uh, connects the vertices in the MST set with the vertices that are not yet included in the MST set. So let us go through this algorithm step by step and see how uh, it will work for our example. So let's begin with uh, the vertex A. So let's include the vertex A in our MST set. And now we will consider all the edges that uh, connect A to the other vertices. So, uh, so we have B, C and D. So now, now that we have A included in our MST set, we can see that A is connected to B by AB by C, uh, to C by AC and uh, to um, D by AD. And uh, now each of these edges have a cost associated with them, that 10, 30 and 15. Now we can clearly see that this is the minimum cost out of uh, these three edges. So we will pick this edge and uh, we will include this in our MST. So we include this edge AB and we write the cost over here. So now, now we have another vertex in our MST set, that's B. So we cut it out from here. And now we see that uh, the vertices in our MST set, that is A and B, are connected to the vertices that are not yet in our MST set, C and D, by these edges, uh, BC. So wait, first uh, let me highlight this vertex B because it's included, and this edge. So now we can see that uh, uh, this set of vertices, vertices are connected to these set of vertices by BC, AD and AC. And now we want to pick up another edge that has the least cost. So we can see that uh, the edge AD has the least cost. So we include AD and we write the cost over here. So now uh, we have also included vertex D in our MST set. And now our MST set includes three vertices, these three. And now we see that uh, our MST set is connected to the other vertex by three edges, BC, AC and DC. And now we want to pick up the least cost edge. So out of these three, the least cost edge is this one. So we write it down. We are including AC and the cost is 30. So now we have all the vertices here. Now we have all uh, the vertices included over there. And uh, we have an MST that, that looks like this. And the cost of the MST is 55. So uh, the cost of our MST is 55. And uh, this is the uh, minimum spanning tree given by the PIMS algorithm. So that will be all for now. We have discussed an overview of PIMS algorithm. And what we discussed was we basically maintain two sets in the Prim's algorithm where one set contains the set of vertices 
which have been included in MST and the other set contains the set of vertices which are yet to be included and what we were doing at every step we were considering all edges which connect these two sets and we were taking the minimum weight edge out of these edges and we were picking up as a part of MST so now how do we implement it how do we actually program it so uh, which data structure we use so if you take a uh, if you take a look at this algorithm what are the operations that we perform we basically uh, every in every step we consider the minimum weight edge so if you if it if you if you try to guess which data structure you would use as you might have guessed the data structure that we use is priority queue which is typically implemented using binary heap to extract the minimum right the, the, the operation that we do is extract minimum so uh, how so let's let's take a look at the complete algorithm we have we create an array parent which is actually used to represent our output which is the minimum spanning tree we represent our output as a parent array where in tree we have every vertex and corresponding to its parent stored in an array so uh, and then we create a min heap of size v so that's how a, a min heap looks like and we all if you remember we always start prims algorithm with some starting point that can be any vertex in the graph so here we've taken a vertex as starting point so what we do is we assign key values 0 to it infinite to all the other vertices vertices key value to all the other vertices is assigned as infinite and we as we make parent of every vertex as null so for convenience we have drawn this binary heap this way so that we can demonstrate this algorithm easily right so uh, once we have this binary heap and once we have initial values in this binary heap we run a loop which runs till this binary heap doesn't become empty so uh, in this loop what we do is we extract minimum right so uh, here the minimum key value is 0 we always extract the vertex from which we picked as a starting point so in this case we pick A and once we have extracted a vertex we go through every adjacent of it and for uh, so let's let's talk about the adjacent B so we uh, we consider this first we compare its key value with this edge value so this key value is more so we update this key value to 10 and when we update the key value we also update the parent so parent of B is A now we go through the next adjacent and we repeat the same process its current key value is infinite this edge value is 20 20 is less than infinite so we update it to 20 and we also make parent of C as A so what we have basically done we went through every adjacent we compared its current key value with the edge value weight and if the key value was more we updated key value and we also updated the parent when we were updating the key value but there is one more condition that uh, the adjacent should be in heap if, if we have extracted our node out of the heap we should not be considering this uh, these two operations for that so uh, so a, a, a is something we extracted so it's not there in heap now we repeat the loop and again we extract minimum so out of these four we have minimum as b so we extract out of the heap and this is included in MST now we go through all adjacent of B adjacent of B are C and D we compare their current key values with the edge weights so for D we compare its current key value which is infinite with 5 5 is less so we update we make B as parent of D for C the next adjacent of B we compare its current key value which is 20 with 30 so 20 is less so we don't update the key value because the 30 is more so we have gone through all adjacent of B 
so we come back here we extract minimum again this time we extract d so d is now included in our msd set we go through all adjacent of d which are there in min he so we uh, please remember uh, in the previous steps also although it was not mentioned we go through only those adjacent which are there in min he so for d the adjacent are e and c and both are there in min he so we consider both of them so we go through e first Current uh, current key value of e is infinite, and this edge weight is eight. So we reduce from infinite to eight. We make parent of e as d, and then we go to next adjacent. So next adjacent is c. Its current key value is twenty, and this edge is fifteen. So we update this value from twenty to fifteen. and we update the parent also from a to d right so we have gone through all adjacent of d we again repeat the same process we extract minimum and this time minimum is e out of e included in msd set we go through all adjacent of e which are there in he so there is only one adjacent which is there in he so adjacent is c and we compare its current key value with this edge weight current key value is 15 and current and this edge weight is 6 so we update from 15 to 6 we also update parent of c from d to e uh we again come back here we repeat the process we extract c this time and there are no adjacent of c which are there in he because c is the only node left in he now so we don't run this loop and uh, we actually run this loop but we don't go inside the if condition and Since the C is last node, so our heap becomes empty. We stop our algorithm here. Let's see what do we get as an output. So our output is actually parent array. So our parent array is output array. Let's see how this parent array helps in uh, constructing MST. So let's take a look at this parent array and let's see the graph. So for A, there is no parent. It's nil. So A is root of our MST. for b parent is a so this h is part of msp for c parent is e so this h is part of msp for d parent is b so this is this h is part of our msp for e parent is d so this h is part of our msd so msd is these as is and weight of this msd is 10 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 which is 29 let us analyze time complexity of this algorithm uh so main operation that we do in this algorithm are are these two loops the outer while loop and inner for loop so and, and inside these loops we have main two operations extract minimum and then we update key so these two operations are basically performed on binary heap or priority queue so extract minimum on a binary heap takes big o of log b time where v is the number of vertices or number of items in binary heap and this operation update this also takes big o of log b time so how many times this thing runs 
you can easily guess this runs big O of V times because you have all the vertices in the in the binary heap initially and you extract them one by one. So this the time complexity of this step is actually V into big O of log V and time complexity of this particular step can be evaluated if we know how many times this loop runs. So can you guess how many times this loop runs? This actually runs for every adjacent of all vertices. So if we sum them up, what do we get? It's actually proportional to the number of edges in graph. You know, if you have E edges, then you are going to have two E entries in all the adjacent in adjacency list. Right, so uh, so this is actually big O of E into big O of E into log V. So total time complexity of this algorithm is big O of V plus E log V. And when we are talking about this time complex complexity, we basically assume that we are using binary heap. If we use Fibonacci heap, we can reduce this time complexity. For Fibonacci heap, extract minimum is log V, but we can perform decrease key operation or update key operation in big O of one time. So for if we are using Fibonacci heap for implementation, we get time complexity is as V log V plus E.